Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. On today's show, I'm going to show you how to clone an SD card. This is useful for both the Jetson Nano and the Jetson Xavier NX. Before we get started, the intended use of this type of backup is to have a copy of your system in case of emergency. For example, you're running a demo and something goes horribly wrong with your card. After all, it is a demo, right? You can pop in a clone and continue where you left off. Between you and me, you should have a much better strategy for making a real backup, which involves being able to generate the entire card from scratch. Do not use this clone in another Jetson, as all sorts of unmentionable things can happen. None of them good. And with the gloom out of the way, this is a rather simple process. We are going to save a compressed image of the SD card on a host computer. Here's a useful article on Jetson Hacks to help us. We are going to use the command line utility DD, which stands for Convert and Copy Files. Now you might wonder why they called it DD instead of CC. Keep wondering, I ain't telling. We also use the gzip utility. This will compress the SD card image when we save it to disk. We need an adequate amount of space on the host drive to store the SD card image. The amount of space is determined by the size of the SD card and how much space is in use on the card. Let's clone. Let's plug the SD card into the host machine. On this machine, the card shows up as a USB device. You can see that's a 64 gigabyte volume. Let's close that up. Now let's find out the device name. There's a couple of ways to do that. We can use the utility parted from the command line. The minus L flag means list. Password. This machine has two internal drives and the SD card. Here is the first disk, slash dev slash SDA. Here's the second drive, it's slash dev slash SDV. And the last drive that shows up here is our SD card, slash dev slash SDC. You can see that there are 11 partitions on this particular SD card. The APP partition holds the root FS, which is what you normally see when you are on the system. The other partitions are more utilitarian. They help during the boot process and contain things such as the kernel image, the device tree, and some recovery information. We can also get the device name through the GUI. GUI, GUI, GUI. Let's open up our disks application. We can see our three drives. Here's the first drive and the second one, and then our SD card, which is masquerading as USB. We can see all of our partitions, and here's the APP partition, which holds our root FS. Our device name is slash dev slash SDC. The one indicates a partition. Because we are referring to the entire SD card, we do not use a partition number. We only need the slash dev slash SDC. Let's close this up. And scroll down a little bit. We are ready to clone the SD card. Let's make sure that the SD card is not mounted. Next, let's figure out where we want to put our backup. Let's wander over there. Here's the command outline we want to follow. The SDX should be the device name. In our case, it is C. It looks like we can use this example as our guide. Let's clear the terminal and we'll type in our command. We will continue on just as planned. Push the button, Max. <laughs> Copy complete. Now we are ready to eject the drive. And now we can remove the card. Now we insert our new SD card. This particular SD card is formatted for a Windows machine. It doesn't show up in the sidebar when you insert it. 
the method for finding the device name is the same as the one we used previously. We can use the disks application. We can see it here. Or we can use parted. Password. We can see it here at the bottom. It's slash dev slash SDC. Notice that it is not formatted and it does not have any partitions. Let's close this. Let's go find our compressed image. Here it is. We can see that it's 7.7 .7 gigabytes. So that's pretty big. The used space on the SD card was about 14 gigabytes. We have a good bit of compression going on there. Let's clear this off and restore the drive. Let's make sure that the drive is not mounted. Because of the way I have my system set up, I have to be a super user before I can do the restore. You may not have to do that. Push the button. Cloning complete. You can see that when we click on the drive, here are all the files. Let's eject the SD card and remove it from the host. I've placed the clone of the SD card into the Jetson. Let's boot it up. The moment of truth. Password. Ha! Huh. We're back at our familiar desktop. Let's open up our drive. Here's the files that I had on here. Let's see, I had the source for the kernel on here. Let's take a look. There they are. All of our friends. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Oh, and stay safe. Mm -hmm.